So this is a piece of interface and it's going to go around the inside of the neck. And this is a typical way that they show you the pattern instructions how to deal with the interfacing. I don't like to do it this way. It's a pain putting a million pins around it. You have to fold it over twice so you, the raw edges on, are on the inside. And it's really hard to get out the bumps. You still see bumps. See, see the bumps? You can try as hard as you can um, to get those bumps out with lots of pins. And to me, this is just a pain doing it this way. Oh, see, look at that wrinkle. It's really hard not to get those little wrinkles. I'm going to show you a much easier way because this is a pain. I, pr I believe in doing the job the easiest way possible. You know, why work hard when you can work smart? Following the pattern instructions, cut interfacing the same as you did for the facing fabric. Sew the interfacing pieces together the same as you did for the facing. Now here's the easier way. We use this piece of interfacing that I've um, doubled. It's, it's a thin fabric and we are going to pin the outside edge of this. We don't have to use nearly as many pins. Make sure that your seams are ironed out flat. I like to put the pins on that so they don't accidentally flip over. And we are going to sew just around the outside edge. Most seam allowances are 5 eighths of an inch. That's what I pretty much use all the time. Now we clip the corners. And we want to trim as close to the seam as possible the interfacing without crossing over the seam. Uh, we're doing this so we don't have extra bulk. Now to prevent buckles when we turn this inside out, we go around the curves and about every inch or so and we just make little slits. What that does is allow the fabric that when it's inside it can kind of over flap each piece and that will make a nice sharp corner and it will make a nice even curved. There won't be any lumps or bumps. It'll be nice and smooth. This is the way I like to do all interfacing. Sometimes around the neck, if I'm making a jumpsuit for a girl, I will do the same idea around the uh, sleeve holes. You know, it's a sleeveless dress. It's just a nice clean way to do the interfacing without having to use a million pins and take a lot of extra time. To me, this is much faster. It's faster, it's neater, it's cleaner, and it doesn't take more time. Observe that I sewed the side and then around the outside edge. This is going to be where it comes together at the back where the zipper is going to go. And so I wanted a nice clean edge right there, no raw edges there as well. Now that we have it clipped and sewn and trimmed, we can turn it inside out. Alright, let's press it. There, it's flat. There are no bumps on it. This is going to be under underside. You won't even see this. It's just going to be tucked away on the inside. And this will be attached at the neck 
And so there we have our facing. It's, it's clean and nice. So we have attached the facing to the neck opening. This is the facing, and this is the inner facing. And now that we've got it sewn on, we're going to do some trimming. I don't like to have too much material where it's folded over. It's got two layers here and two layers there. Plus, it'll be really thick. So what I like to do is trim back the inner facing as close to the seam as possible. Be careful not to cut into your seam. Where the seams come together, I like to trim off some extra fabric to reduce the bulk of the seam. I just kind of cut off the corners. Again, I want to give another trim, this time on the main fabric. I don't cut it as quite as short as I did the inner facing. So it's just slightly longer, but I want to reduce the amount of fabric, the less fabric possible before we turn it inside out. One more thing before we turn it. Because it's on a curve, you always have to clip curves. You gotta do this carefully. Cut towards the seam, but do not cut the seam. This will just make it easier for everything to lie down flat. Because we're gonna be turning it inside out. Always clip curves. Okay, well, the curves are clipped. Now we can turn this on the inside. So this is going to be the outside, and that's the inside. The interfacing is underneath. And we're going to press it, and then we can sew a seam around the top if we like or not. Okay, I have the interfacing pinned. Now there's two ways you can handle it. You could run a little top stitch around, if you don't mind a top stitch showing, or you could just go inside with a needle and thread and do a blind stitch holding that down so that you don't have a problem of this flipping up and getting in the way. Since this costume is going to have a hood over it, I don't mind having a top stitch. I'm gonna go around here and top stitch it. I have it pinned down already. But what if she kills us first? Ah! 